Number one question. What do you think is a good about learning English in Philippines? It's a good question. You know, aside from affordable in one country, I believe that the Philippines has like a very wonderful education in terms of like the instruction because we are using the language in all educational institutions. Yes. And the students there will have a very wonderful experience because they can use the language in every day. Yes, like talking to locals, even in ordering the restaurant or <laughs> okay, number two. Do people in Philippines really grow up speaking English? Oh well, yeah, in fact, um, Filipino children are multilingual, so we had to learn um, our dialect, local language, our national language, and then here's English. So in school, we actually use English as a medium of instruction. So it's like taught. Um, it's taught in English, of course. Mathematics, science, they're taught in English, and it's like the language of business in the Philippines. So everywhere you go, uh, people can like speak English, even if you're bystanders. They can speak like basic English, and with the millennial generation. Um, being you know exposed to Western media, English films, they're trying to they, they tend to train their children to speak English. Mm -hmm. So even as early like as two uh, as early as two years old, they already speak English because their parents teach them the language. So two years old, right? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And number three, how is LCS different from other schools? Okay. That's a good question to discuss. So first of all, there are several factors that sets LCIC different from the other school. First is, it is an international college, which has two major departments. The first one is the local department, and us, the South Center for English Language Studies, is the international department, where we are catering international students. And our international students are given a chance to talk with our local students. We have this called body system. The body system has a choice of one or two hours in a day that students can book to have a speaking activity with the local students. And also we have one over 1,000 local students that are international students that interact in a day. And the second one we have um, teachers. Our teachers are LPTs, licensed professional teachers. And most of us are master's degree. Some are ongoing their postgraduate and their major are English, um, English language teaching, so ELT. Mm -hmm. So they are well versed about teaching methods and strategies and we have different teaching styles also. So in our classroom, we use differentiated instruction. And next one is the classroom. So we have a smart classroom. We're using technology. We're not um, relying on the traditional one, which is pen and paper. Instead, we are using engagement activities or we get a five classroom activities. So we always have this hashtag cells where learning is fun. Yes, that's hashtag. hashtag. <laughs> <laughs> and also, we have um, fascinating facilities. So we have this very beautiful dormitory where our students are safe and secured and we have this spacious ground and library and also we have SALK, Students um, Access Learning Center and we have this um, beautiful classroom as well where our students will be fascinated and it is conducted or conducive to learning. Yes, and there are a lot, actually there are a lot of factors. Why you choose LCIC? And that sets LCIC different from the other school. And I can assure you to that because our school has these teachers and staff which is very accommodating and ready to serve our international students happily. <laughs> Next, number four question. Do you think having the right accent really matters when learning English? A lot of Taiwanese students worry they all got a Filipino accent. Mm. Well, I 
think that's a really, really good question. And I think it's not even Taiwan, Taiwan students. Um, we have Japanese, Taiwanese, Vietnamese, Mongolian. Students from all over are worried about their accent. And many of them say, I really want to sound like an American. And then I always talk to them and explain, when you're traveling to Europe, are there a lot of Americans that you'll be interacting with? When you're going to Australia, where you're traveling around Asia, the accent probably doesn't matter as much as students think. Of course, we're exposed, as Jess said, and Nympha said, to the Western and the American film culture. But the reality is, the Americans make up a very small percentage of the English language speakers in the world. So as our students are out traveling the world or working after college, many of them are going to have opportunities to hear many different accents, but they're all speaking English. So for, from my perspective, and I think from our perspective, if you have a great American accent, fantastic. But I wouldn't worry about who your teacher is, where they're from, if they're qualified, if they can teach the language, and you're able to use the language, and you're understood, accent doesn't really make a big difference. So that's my first answer. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And number five, what do you think are the advantage of Filipino teachers compared with native speakers? Another really good question. And I think similar to the accents, students really worry about, oh, I need a native speaker. And I can be honest, I've spent 15 years at universities in Asia. Sometimes, because I grew up speaking the language, I just took for granted a grammar rule for why we did certain things. Because it was just like learning Mandarin. Oh, we just learned this, or learning Tagalog. And with Filipino teachers, as I think Nimfa said, they're learning the local dialect, they're learning the national language, and then their third language is English. So wherever I've taught, I actually appreciate having local teachers who understand the challenges that another language learner might make. For me, Mark, why do you do this? Just because. I don't know. That's what I learned when I was a little kid. But if you've had to learn the language and it's not your native language, you're going to understand, like I said, those challenges, some of the difficulties students have. And that's why we like to learn more about the different cultures and the different countries and the challenges students have from different countries so they can help address those same concerns because they went through them when they learned the language. So there is great value in having a native speaker, but Filipinos, again, it's their second language. They use it everywhere and they've understood the challenges of having to learn the language and they're able to teach that in a better way through, like they said, the active learning, the interaction, the communicative language approach. So, that's what I would say. Thank you, teachers. You're welcome. Thank you. 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 Thank you.